guys, it is Christy K. The Rihanna Fenty Beauty came out today. I was able to pick up some products in the collection today and try them out. Um, I was super excited for this launch. I am wearing mainly Riri Fenty all over my face, as they call it, the Fenty face. Um, so yeah, if you want to know how I got this Fenty face, if you want to know more about these Fenty products and what I think about them, and um, just find out some more information on these products before you pick them up, keep watching. Okay, so Rihanna launched her line today. It is called Fenty Beauty. It is available online at FentyBeauty.com and it's also available at Sephora. I picked up a few of the items from the collection. Picked up the Precision Makeup Sponge. Picked up the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. And I picked up the highlighter and I picked up the shade Trophy Wife. When I tell you this color is like one of the most beautiful golden colors I've ever seen, it like literally is. So I did pick up her Pro Filter Primer, but I got that in a sample. And also the foundation, I got that in a sample too because I wanted to try it. Like I really wasn't gonna spend an extra $60 on something I wasn't sure if I was gonna like. Now what I will do is get a little deeper into this collection. So the Pro Filter is a shine stopping pore diffusing primer that smooths away better foundation application and longer wear with an instant retouch. Unlike a basic mattifying primer, Pro Filter's cushiony touch me now texture mattifies the skin and it also creates a filter like blurring effect and melts instantly into all skin tones without a trace. It works all day to help your makeup last longer, feeling lightweight and comfortable. Um, they also said too that you can wear this without makeup. This is actually Rihanna's favorite thing from the collection. The Pro Filter long wearing foundation so they color matched me today in the shade 410 but I kind of don't know how I feel about that I'm like am I darker than I think I am because at the launch last night Rihanna was wearing like a 330 and I'm like hmm I don't know this foundation is awesome let me tell you why it's awesome one because it comes in 40 shades like Rihanna really came through with it like usually when celebrities launch a line it's like a here or there but she thought this out and honestly like she shit it on a lot of cosmetic lines with her range and her price point this foundation is only $34 and it can reach 40 different shades and like that's awesome from like the lightest to the deepest like even some of our favorite like luxury brand foundations don't go that deep so like that's super awesome like that's probably one of my favorite things about it so let me give you some details about this foundation it's a soft matte longwear foundation that's buildable to medium full coverage pro filter soft matte longwear foundation gives the skin an instantly smooth pore diffuse shine free finish that easily builds to medium full coverage the oil free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity okay then Riri. and won't clog pores i feel like this foundation probably has more technology in it than anything that i own so she has um matchstick she has a matte and shimmer and then what's cool about these is that um they they stick together so I guess if you buy any of like the sticks they stick together the matte formula comes in 20 shades and it's a magnetized makeup stick it's long wear it's light as air and you can conceal correct and contour and like I said it comes in 20 shades so I guess she has more of a shade range in the liquid these probably are the in-between shades they have shimmer sticks 10 shades that you can highlight brush and blondes with and they work well with the other ones so you can like get the regular ones you can do your foundation you can conceal you can highlight and then you can add some of these on for some shimmers speaking of shimmers um, I got that kilowatt um, freestyle highlighter and she said that she worked really hard on this. She wanted to make sure that it was really fine and that it just like, it popped. I got the really bright gold one just because I feel like I always play it safe. Like I picked up the champagne one initially, but I'm like, all my colors are the same. Like I need to get up out my comfort zone. Let me tell you a little bit more about these. It's weightless long wear cream. It's a cream powder hybrid highlighter that ranged from a day glow to insanely supercharged glow. Um, and then the one that I got is a single. I was thinking of getting the Parrot Duo because I feel like you get more for your money. This highlighter is super pigmented. Let me give you a swatch. Woo! That's pretty gold. I'm kind of wondering if that's going to be too much or maybe I got to apply it with a light hand. And then the Gloss Bomb. She only made one. Super pretty. The ultimate 
Gotta have it lip gloss with an explosive shine that feels good as a lip. This lippy can be worn alone or over a lipstick. Rihanna actually created this. Your lips can be more kissable. And this is the color right here. It's a beautiful like. This is the applicator. She made the applicator really big so that you could like get all the product on there. Like you don't got a double dip just in like one. You can get what you needed across. So this is the lip shine. This is the sponge right here. It could be used wet or dry. And um, I guess you use it damp for buildable coverage and use it dry for a full coverage. Um, it actually feels really good. This is actually the closest thing that I have right now to my beauty blender. That's not a beauty blender, so I'm excited to try that. Her line also has like brushes, um, a cheek brush, a highlight, a highlight brush, a foundation brush, a touch-up brush, and she has like an Invisimat powder. Oh, she has a blotting powder. And then she has a blotting paper, you know, so that we can take care of this shine, but I'm ready to like dig into this and hmm. It's pretty thick. Not that I expect it to be watery, but it's probably like one of the thickest primers that I have right now. Like the texture is just, it's, it's, I think it's, the texture is definitely different from anything that I own right now. So again, this foundation that I'm trying is 420. That's what I was in a store. Now that I'm home, this is really dark. This probably ain't even the right color. Bro, this is 410. Definitely played me. This ain't even my shade. Not my shade. Even a little bit. Yeah, no. You know what? I'm gonna go get the right shade because this ain't it. I'll be back. All right, you guys. I am back. I went back to the Sephora, which should have took me like 10 minutes. It took me like 45 minutes because traffic is so bad. I did get the right color. And then I also found out some new information for you about this foundation. I gotta reprime my face though, because like, when that color matched me in the store, yeah, they put it all over my face, different shades, so I had to wipe it off. But what they didn't tell me initially, today during my little consultation and finding my shade, is that this foundation oxidizes three shades, two to three shades. Um, from when you put it on like after two or three minutes it changes so like my first red flag by my color being wrong was it giving me the shade 410 and I was like well I look Rihanna's makeup artist for the event Priscilla Onko she used the shade 330 on Rihanna and I'm like I feel like we close to shades I'm like why am I 410 like I so didn't understand it I so didn't get it and this time they actually gave me enough to put on my face because before it was just a hot mess like it was super busy this morning like I get it but like you didn't have to give me the wrong shade, bro. And what, what the little blender thingy. I guess it's supposed to be for like rolling. This is supposed to be for like concealer. But I don't know. I just use everything the same as the beauty blender. And when it's wet, it's buildable. So I guess this is like my sheer layer. But I'm curious to see if it applies better with a brush. See, like right now in this light, I feel like this 320 is too light. But they did say oxidizer. So I'm going to let me say oh no look oh okay so I was gonna say I feel like the sponge is like taking the foundation away but like if you push down on it it's like I don't know it came back weird in that case I guess I mess with this little sponge I'm gonna apply some concealer right now and while I do that I'm gonna see if I need another layer I feel like it's a little it's kind of like sheer because I can still see my freckles but I did use it wet and the sponge wet makes it um, buildable. So let me just do my little highlight thing. That good old color pop come through for me today. Let's see what this sponge do. So it's made to be like easy under the eyes. And you know what? I do kind of like that it has this little cut off right here because I don't know. Not that the beauty blender or any of them poke you in the eye, it's just cool that it's not like sharp. I do like this feature and I do like that, the flatness of it because I feel like you can get to what you need to get to better. And also on this, like, I feel like if you press too hard, like you can see that imprint, but if you just gently pat, like it does this thing. So I think I'm just used to applying more pressure, but this really doesn't need a lot of pressure. This is, you can just kind of like lightly do your thing with this. Yeah, this don't need a lot of pressure. So I think maybe that was what I was doing at first is you don't have to apply a lot of pressure with this because it's really soft and it's, it's non-latex. I don't, I wasn't aware that the other things had latex in them, but it said non-latex. So does a beauty blender have latex in it? If anybody knows, let me know. Okay, so now, I just dropped it. We don't keep it going though. 
<laughs> so now that I did that, I think I'm gonna add a, another layer, just a little bit in certain er areas. I swear I'm getting foundation everywhere, but like where it needs to be. All right, so because it's hot, we just go keep it real simple. Like I'm, I'm trying not to sweat, but this is supposed to make me not sweat. So I really feel like I should be sweating right now. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it gets the job done. It's super hot. I'm sitting underneath these lights. We're gonna see what it do. All right. So I'm just going in with some Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Just to kind of bronze up my face. Taking some Milani Berry Amore for these cheeks. What I should have did first, but I didn't do, was put this Laura Mercier underneath my eyes to set this concealer and also to brighten. Ooh, good Lord Jesus, it is hot. Like my armpits are about to start sweating. But this face, it look like it's not going nowhere. And if that's the case, then like Riri, I might have to mess with this foundation and actually get me one in real life. I put my molds back on because my foundation covers them. So they're fake molds, but they're not fake molds. So I'm gonna mold it real quick. Bring back the molds. Okay, so now that this is done, this here beautiful ass highlighter trophy wife hello that's me one day if and when I decide to get married I'm gonna lightly tap because from the swatch was super pigmented now I'm glistening a lot um I don't know how I feel I feel like I don't know it's pretty I'm gonna use my Mariri my, my blender to kind of push it in it's like a subtle glow but I'm curious to what this looks like wet so we're gonna spray some fix plus on that joint and we're gonna see if it takes it up a notch oh, okay you know what it took it all the way up like I am gold member like for real in real life right now so we're gonna bring that down a little bit but it's really pretty and I opted for this color because you know I'm a creature of habit. All my lipsticks are the same color. Like all my everything are the same color. Like I do the same eye looks every day. Like sometimes I have to push myself to make it happen. But I will say that the highlight is popping. Now I'm curious um, about taking it up another notch. I just want to know how gold can we go. So I'm going to take Becca Champagne Gold. I'm going to put it right here. Right. I'm going to bust that in. So this is gonna be my base for the gold and I'm just curious as far as like what it's gonna do for this um, highlighter because either way it's like out there but that gold is gold I feel like on deeper skin it would be really really beautiful for me right now I feel like I'm pushing it but you know I don't mind pushing it like that's just what I do I'd be pushing boundaries and you know, really, there are no rules to makeup initially. Honestly, like, you can just wear what you want, how you want, what you feel like. You don't got to do what everybody else is doing. But that is some insane freaking glow and gold. Let me fix this face. I swear I feel like half the time when I spray Fix Plus, it goes everywhere but my face. Like, I feel like I just be giving half the bottle to the air. I did swatch the other highlighters. Like, they were pretty. They weren't as popping as this. This is probably the most, like, popping highlight. But then again, like, this highlight is just, it's just for real. It's just gold. It's like, it's beautiful and dark skin. Or if it's just like, if you just feel like you want to be gold, let's be gold. So I feel like this gloss is amazing on its own. It's so freaking beautiful. Like, even the case, like, the little FB, like, the detailing and everything is awesome I'm going to swatch it uh, I love it I feel like it is beautiful on its own but I'm curious to see what it does for your lipsticks I'm like this off add a little lippy this is Tarte Cabana Boy now we about to layer this to see what it do It's pretty, but I think I actually liked it better on its own, and especially since I have so much going on. Okay, so you're also supposed to be able to use this all over. So what I'm going to do is apply some of this to my eye. Ooh. Now that is beautiful over this. 
I can only imagine what it'll look like wet. Like it definitely took my eyes to the next level. Put a little bit on my little collarbones that are sticking out. Some shimmers. Okay, so I feel like it's pretty. I think I might almost like this better on my body. I'm doing my face. I feel like this may be a little too gold for me, but it is out of my comfort zone. And I also wanted to see how the foundation set like without any powder. I'm hot. You guys, I'm warm pits of sweating. My face is still not sweating. I didn't put any powder over it because I wanted to see how it looks. She did have a press translucent powder cup of a thing. I'm a full coverage girl, so I usually would have applied my MAC Studio Fix one over this. But I'm not going to do it today. I guess I'll just take a little bit of this uh, Laura Mercier. Put in a little puff. And kind of powder my face. This is how they show you how to do it. Like, have you ever seen her little, like, um, little video thingies? It looks something like this. So now that the face is powdered, we're gonna add some setting spray. I'm not put Fix Plus on, but Fix Plus and setting spray, like, do not do the same thing. It's an FYI, you guys. If y'all buy some Fix Plus, you still need some setting spray. Um, Fix Plus is just gonna make you wear dewy. The glycerin is gonna bring out your glows, but it ain't gonna set your face. I feel like it is beautiful. I feel like this highlighter is beautiful. I know she said that these powders are finely milled and even though it's like gold and like glittery, it's a really, really good shine, but it's like not, it's not so overdone and I also don't feel like I have chunks of glitter sitting on my face. So I am gonna say that you guys, I am impressed with everything that I tried. Even the sponge, I wasn't feeling it, but then after I, after I got used to the shape, and then I realized that you could use it to press hard to get the stuff on and it might soak up the foundation but if you press hard it comes back and then if you softly do it it doesn't leave anything like I feel like this was good she worked in this collection for two years I feel like she did extremely well I'm so happy for her I'm so happy that she has 40 shades like she can literally take care of everybody I feel like there is not gonna be one person who can't find a shade in her line and that doesn't happen very often so that said this gloss is bomb with or without a lipstick i mess with this i mess with this highlighter even though i still i'm getting used to looking at myself because i feel like mm, mm. but i definitely like it on my body like my glow like that golden sheen like i would rub this on my body like for my summer glow and it's um a way cheap alternative than what i use right now but i do like how it comes together actually you know what see how it photographs that'd be the test highlight is highlight is popping in this picture y'all like so um my skin looks really good um it is a very soft matte it's not like overdone it's not drying and it's not like making my texture like be really noticeable because i'm like currently experiencing a little breakout situation and as i'm looking like it's not very noticeable um even on this here picture, like, I don't see no texture, so. I like it. I am sold, you guys. I encourage you guys to get out there and try the Cinti Beauty collection. You know, Rihanna does everything well. Like, what doesn't she do well? Like, her fashion line does well. Her makeup line did well. People were lined up out there, and even when I got there, like, it, when I went back today, it was still super packed, so. Riri is the queen, and then she's beautiful, and then she has like all the dopest songs so with that said you guys that is all i have for you thank you so much for watching my video if you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button and if you are subscribed and you don't get my videos i post them weekly hit that notification button so that you can see my videos if you knew and you want to see some more of my videos i got some posted you guys check them out i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video Mwah.